What makes the 801D4 stand apart is a handful of things, most notably its size, but there's a couple things going on underneath the skin that set it apart from even the likes of the 802. We'll get into what all of that is in just a minute, but don't forget to subscribe to the Gramophone channel and click that bell icon down in the corner there so you won't miss out on any of our upcoming highlights because there are some really new and really cool products on the way. So, top to bottom. The tweeter, the Bowers and Wilkins Diamond Dome tweeter. Yes, the tweeter that's made out of literal diamonds. Why? Because it's so hard and so stiff that it's basically a perfect piston when it moves and that's precisely what you need a good tweeter to do. Housed in this reverse horn shaped tube that kind of looks like an engine nacelle just like the mid-range does as in a jet engine nacelle, the idea is to deal with the back wave that comes off the tweeter. Same principle for the body of the mid-range, this shape that is going to compress that back wave pressure. Giant solid aluminum, and they call it the turbine head because of the jet-inspired design. The mid-range here, though, is called Continuum. I don't even really know what Continuum is. The only people who really know are the Bowers engineers who designed it, but I can at least tell you this. It's part Kevlar and then a blend of other aramid fibers. Aramid fibers being the very light but very dense, strong brand of fibers like Kevlar, which of course enjoy accolades such as being often bulletproof. It's what we make vests out of. It's also what you make great mid-ranges out of, go figure. Notice, or rather don't, that there's basically no noticeable surround. Because the surround material, if you will, is actually tucked behind the cone of the mid-range to minimize its involvement with the sound field. Cleaner presentation, better expansion. The next D4 series feature that's on this mid-range is something called biomimetic suspension. The biomimetic suspension is basically like a skeletonized spider but made out of a polymer-like material that has way less material to get in the way. In the 801, the mid-range is wired using silver wire not just copper like found in the Lesser Brethren. As you go up the range, probably the most noticeable thing about them as they grow is the size of the base driver. 10 inch dual base drivers. They're huge. These things hit hard, they hit fast, and they have energy for days. They will fill almost any room completely, even larger rooms you will not be wanting for more. These are mounted in this cabinet with a aluminum bracing all around this driver that you can't see that's behind the wood. That bracing is for extra rigidity. It makes the entire cabinet way stiffer. You also have an aluminum plate up here as well as down here. The crossover network of the 801 is notably improved over the lesser models, even the 802. These use a completely different capacitor in their crossover that is of a much finer quality, but also much more expensive. Hence the pretty comparative jump in price to the 801, but it's worth it. The multiple layers of beechwood finished with a wonderful veneer or paint job, depending on what you want. But now in addition to that, we've got the aluminum top plate with the real leather wrap, which I think is just gorgeous, a beautiful accent. The tweeter is even cooler looking now with the more elongated Nautilus tube that has the nicely finished aluminum body to it. It actually has a bit of texture to it that I really like. Bowers pulled out all the stops for the 801, the silver wiring, huge cabinet, the large base drivers, the better caps on the crossover. This is one incredible speaker, a technical performer almost like none other. You can find more information about the Bowers and Wilkins 801 and really the entire Bowers range at gramophone.com where we talk about all of our vendors and list what's available. And most importantly, stop by one of the showrooms, Timonium, Columbia, Gaithersburg, we have Bowers 800 Series D4 product on display everywhere. Come and hear it for yourself. See what your ears have been missing. And you'll be able to find the Bowers & Wilkins 801 D4 in our showrooms for a price of just under $40,000. Drop your comments down below if you have any additional questions. Don't forget to answer that question of the day. And of course, I'd really appreciate a like if you had fun and felt like you learned something today. Thank you for stopping by. Me seeing you.